Hey, welcome back. Uh, my parts came in. So today's the big day. Um, this one's going to be dedicated only to putting that root rib in. So stick around. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Hey, make sure you stay to the very end when we're upsize drilling the spar. There's a really important tip I need to show you. I see two ribs. I see the chop pieces. Oh, they're much. Let's see if they're wider. They're much wider. They're the 25s. They're not drilled. Awesome. That way I can sell them the way I want. I like that. Oh, check it out. They're drilled. They're match drilled. All along, top and bottom. The rear, because it was okay. And guess what? Nothing in the front. That's exactly what we needed. Can't say enough good things about Roger and the crew down there taking such good care of us. Thanks, guys. And the little ones, same thing. They just don't have the holes. Yes, it's gonna be great. We're gonna make it perfect. <laughs> First, for those who don't know, um, to set this up, the root rib on this came in wrong. It was, the holes were drilled in the, in the end and they didn't match, they didn't match the main spar. So they matched the rear, so that's good. And all the uh, other holes in it were fine. And same with the front nose rib. Um, and I think, this is my theory, that these are older style because these holes are smaller set up for the original way they rivet them. Now they have it sized up so that you can put an A and 3 in it. And they've changed this so that it's a 25 millimeter across the top. I think that was just so that they got better edge spacing because this one fit nice. It looked nice. I put the sheet metal on. Everything seemed really good. So today, though, is going to be kind of exciting for me because I set this up this way. I blocked that this is probably not even necessary but i blocked both ends there it is i blocked both ends and pushed in with that one and that took the bow out of it there's a slight amount of bow in these just from assembly as you can see it's it's straight enough now for for getting it level and i got some wedges made up and took all these pieces out and glue glued them together so that when we come down this way, so that this will be the right height off. So that is straight, and that's probably going to change how this fits in up and down. The reason I set this up this way is so that I can get... Um, oh, just so if you're going to do this on yours, make sure that this back doubler is in because that sets this forward. It's slightly arched, and according to the pictures, I'll, this is supposed to be level with this edge. And just about touching in the front. And I've taken this and made sure that this was good and square and fluted it slightly to get it nice and straight because that did change how it fit on the plane because this was bulged here and it wouldn't let it get down close enough to the table. So now that I've prepped everything, luckily I'd already bought some of these. They didn't put these in the kit for A and 3 size. 
the other good thing I'll show you is how to drill through this. And the good part is that these holes, these two holes are going to receive uh, A and 3 bolt. And right now they're set up for, I believe, a A5 rivet is what I think what the original were. But they've changed that. So I've taken the skin. I've tried to come up with a routine. How am I going to drill this? Am I just going to hold it there and drill it? No. I decided to put the skin on just so that I have even more, more references. Oh, real quick. This changed everything. And I'll put this back. Right here, I decided to upsize that one hole because you can see from my markings the, when I was clicking these small holes in, which are I think three thirty seconds, it wouldn't. It was hard to find. It was find, hard to find front and back. They have A and five holes in them. Then you could click go through, but you couldn't get them centered good. So I did one, which shoved that skin forward perfect, and then we can go from there. And the other thing I had to do was slightly. I had to slightly bevel that down because that was hitting, and now it's clearing it. And there's going to be a doubler on top, so this is going to be closer to the angle down that it needs to be. I put this little piece of metal on here because this piece of the skin hooks on a, an angle that fits in here you got to build. So I didn't, have, I didn't have that, so what I did is put that underneath it just just enough to here on the back side of the rear spar there is one hole that's a 332nd so that that's awesome that sets that skin right where it's supposed to be and then all I got to do is find the distance in and out and if it's the same distance from this rib as it is for up here in the front where the rib is then that's what i'm going to go with these a5s holes are all here the raider roll a5 style in here which moves the skin forward on this uh, rib and that'll keep the depth for these holes once they're sized up you know you could probably just Hold that up there, set it level to the bottom of the table, make sure the in and out is right. But this gives me the confidence I need that we're doing it right. Now I got to find a way to transfer that top hole. And I think the only way I can do it is to mark it. The nice part is I'm going to be able to match drill those up to A, A3. And three bolt. So now that it's like that, this is under the proper tension, whatever it's setting where it's supposed to be setting. I'm going to tape this off. That bowl is just about perfect. I think I like it. I'll try a nice close up with this so you can see what I'm doing. At, is slightly up in the in the book uh, right here in the plans it shows it and of course it's in and it shows it flush with the end and right there it's fitting flush this is supposed to be flush with it and when I pull it over flush and pull down on it and this is all riveted and this is taped in place. The angle even seems perfect. Here goes nothing. You can feel that. Oh, that feels just, I think that feels perfect. Right there.
Let's hope we're right. <laughs> now I'll disassemble it. There was part of me that didn't want to film this and just tell you about it when it was done because I wanted to be fully engaged, but I thought about it a lot. I think I got it. Does that look right in the center? Yay! Now we can just have at it. We don't even have to put all this back together. Just gonna put this back in. See how the height proper. Put the two A and bolt, or I'll put these five thirty seconds in the back here where the A and three bolts are going. That gives us our tip. Rotation. I don't even need the playing cards anymore. Now I just have to get that bottom distance right, and that's it right there. Now, if I was to if I was to just mark that, there's a good chance I'd be off. So we're going to drill it through. And I don't mind nicking it because we're going to upsize. Shells are rock. Right on the money. I would use a step, but I need something that fits center in the hole now. So... Um, is 20, which is 5.30 Bingo. There it is. <laughs> that, wasn't bad. that wasn't bad at all, except for the fact that I spent at least an hour setting this up. Oh, probably... Right. Now the, the deal is the uh, front nose rib. Well, on the uh, front rib, just match it to the rear rib depth-wise and leave room so that the uh, C75-4-3 doesn't rub on the spar. And I did use playing cards just to keep it off the table. Well, a little side note, when you get ready to upsize these two holes in your spar, clamp this together somehow before, while you're drilling them because mine spread apart when I was pushing on it and fragments went down inside and it's holding it open. So I think the fix is going to be one of these super thin needles, propping this open slightly and digging that out. See how it goes. Well, what I did was tapered a stick so it wouldn't hurt anything, shoved it down in there, and you can look in really good with a flashlight, if it works, there. <clears throat> you can look down in there, and when you're cleaning off the back sides of those, um, denibbing those two holes, they'll it'll fall down in there. So what I did is took a needle, if it'll focus on it, and ground it really super thin, like that. Then I could open it up just enough to reach down in there and pull them out, and that worked really good. Well, let's see. Yep, closed right back up. Must have got them all out. I looked down in there and you could see them. And so the key is to Keep this clamped when you drill those 
but you'll probably still get some down in there when you re-denib re the back side of that. I did. I thought of a better way. I'll just put a piece of yarn down in there and tuck it all the way down in and then drill it and yank it out. Well, that's it for today's video. I couldn't be happier, like I said. Uh, I love that little angle where it slides down right here that matches up perfect. Feels really good. Uh, next thing I get to do is take this piece and angle it and get the length right and the height right to the skin and get that hooked up. And I, I, I just love this stuff. Um, I don't know how I'm going to get through the rest of the thing. It really gets me worked up. But uh, So if this helps anybody, you know, I hope you subscribe. I hope you like it. And I'll see you in the next one.